In this part, we're going to look at how having shot Blackmagic Raw, we can then interpret that footage and adjust the white balance and the color balance of everything in post to get the image that we want. And we're going to dive into that right now. To bring back the detail in the sky, I pulled the exposure down in the raw panel. So I was able to either adjust the ISO or adjust the exposure so it didn't feel too gray. Clouds had a little bit of texture and color to them. These adjustments meant that the car was a little bit darker than we wanted. So all we did is put some power windows on, track those onto the car, and then we can adjust the car independently. So we have a little bit more control over how that uh, will actually look. Unlike the model car, we've got a moving vehicle, the camera's moving, the shot is a lot more dynamic. It doesn't uh, always translate to a single power window so well. So what you can do in that situation, if you need to, is put a couple of power windows on for different areas and bring those in and out as you need. This workflow also allows us to pop out certain details like the Union Jack detailing on the back just here. Wanted to add some saturation back in because we're trying to pull back that sky. You can see actually if I take off, uh, go through the nodes here and take off this um, aspect of the grade, the sky has a little bit of color in it, but it's still quite gray and the exposure, if I'm taking that down on the car, isn't quite right. The car's going off to a little bit of blue because at that point, the uh, color temperature of the sky where the sun is versus the sky that's over the car is vastly different. So we need to do a bit of correction on that. So bring it back to the warmer, whiter color that we need. And that's uh, something which you can easily do just from shot to shot with either the qualifier tool. So bring in the qualifier, select your area, and then if you need to just hone in on that area, you can bring in a power window as well. And the power window will focus it in on the area that you want. You can track it on and do all of that. And just looking at the color pop on the red just there, it's quite subtle, but it's enough just to make it sing a little bit so that when you're looking at this shot, You've got the sky, you've got the car sitting at the right exposure level. The sky is warm in the background, it's got a little bit of detail to it. The red is now popping and we've corrected the white on the car so it's all sitting a little bit more where we want it to. So that's looking good. In the next part, I'm going to take you through how I use the patch replacer to just touch everything up, remove specks of dirt, so we get a really clean finish for the client, because on that white body, you're going to see absolutely everything.